To really do justice to these monochrome anti-heroes, I wanted to do this review in total silence, using only pictures of me dropping a safe on Derek and using a system of springs to bounce Eric off of a tall building. But then I was informed that not only would that not make for entertaining video, I'd be breaking a number of laws. So instead, I'm going to yammer on about a game about spies. Totally. If you've never read Mad Magazine, well, get off your butt and do so. For almost 60 years, it's been a go-to figure in American stupidity. Through the triumphs and celebrations of our society, Mad has been there, joking about, poking fun at, and lampooning every brain-rotting second. From those hollow pages came a little comic strip about two spies, one in black, one in white, trying to outwit, outplay, and outlast each other for, well, some reason or another. It was the Cold War. Espionage didn't have to have a purpose. It was there to fuel the all-pervading culture of paranoia. So you're a spy. And there's another spy. And you're, um, versus him. You're both stuck in this bunker complex thing comprised of some number of interconnected rooms. Hidden throughout the facility are a briefcase, a key, some documents, a bag of money, and a flight plan. Your goal is to obtain these things, but be sneaky about it. That said, half the fun of espionage is danger, and as such you have various means by which to dispatch your foe, either with close combat, club and dagger violence, or through the clever use of booby traps. Yes, you can rig various doors and bits of furniture to detonate, accelerate, or electrocute anyone stupid enough to go sticking their beak-like nose into it. Find yourself on the receiving end of this license to kill, and you're out of the game for five seconds while losing half a minute from your timer. It's a cute and clever idea which has been ported to pretty much every system on the face of the Earth. But while the experience is fresh the first time around, that's pretty much all there is to the gameplay. There's a total of eight stages, each with a larger map than the next, but the object is always the same. Get the goods, get to the chopper, and avoid being stabbed. Along these lines, the soundtrack is... well, one track. The rooms themselves, aside from the occasional shift in color, are nigh unto identical though the various configurations of furniture can be considered a landmark. Fortunately, as one should certainly expect from a game like this, considering that the word Versus is in the title, there's a two-player mode for head-to-head -head clandestine actions. And in this respect, the game's got more replayability. But one of the strangest issues with this game, though, has nothing to do with the content of the cart, but instead its label. That little bit of the sticker that overlaps the side of the cart doesn't identify the game as Spy vs. Spy, but instead just features the MAD logo. Hence, if you go to your local secondhand gaming concern to try to track down a copy, you might have to browse around the M's before you stumble upon this one. Just watch out for booby traps, or that guy behind you with a scimitar. <laughs> <laughs>